hi guys welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel it's a girl of who you are and i'm back again with another video so today i'm going to do my makeup and then talk to you about the fact that it's okay to be single okay but i'm not a professional this is one of the moments where i try to learn how to do my makeup and so after everything you guys are also going to rate me on how i did with my makeup so without wasting much time let's get right into the video okay guys so we will start by drawing my brows this video is two in one as i said earlier on i'll be doing my makeup while i'll be interacting with you guys on the importance of being single yeah the importance of being single so i think we will touch on just five importance of being single we'll touch on just five or if any any comes up aside the five we would also add that to it okay I'm not I'm not the best when it comes to makeup but I try. Okay. So the first point to talk about is the fact that being single helps you to know yourself. It helps you to know the kind of person that you actually are. When you're in a relationship with someone, you don't sometimes get to know yourself in the in, in in the sense that you want to always do things that will please the other person without thinking about you yeah you always want to do things that will please the other person without thinking about you you always do things like thinking about the other person you wouldn't even get time to know who you really are but when you become single and you are in that free space like nobody is talking to you nobody is pressuring you to do anything you sit down and you be like no but for you why it's like this and like this you get to know the things that you love you get to know the things that you like doing best you know if you're an introvert or an extrovert like you get to know all of these things probably you are so hyper with this person and so you think that oh this is your um, temperament but probably that's not you so when you are single and you're alone in your closets you get to figure out who you really are you get to know the things that you like to do probably in your lonely times you get to know the things that you don't like about yourself and how you can improve on those things you get to know like probably something in you that you didn't even think that you had there are some people that during their single moment they started writing books or they started writing songs and then they they figured out that oh so they had this thing in them and they didn't even know about it do you understand where i'm coming from so being single it's actually not a bad thing it helps you to figure out who you the person you really are and not what people say to you that you are i don't know if you guys are getting me but yeah that is that There are some people that didn't know they could draw until they were single. And in their quiet time or in their alone time, they just took a book, started drawing, and then they figured out, wow, they can actually do this. So it's actually not a big deal if someone is single. To me, it's, it's actually a, a blessing to know that you can actually do this you can do that you can do that 
so yeah the next thing that we'll talk about is is the time to prepare and build a strong foundation yeah it's a time to prepare and build a strong foundation let me break it down being single is a time to prepare is a time to prepare yourself for the next relationship that will come it's not always about the person coming what is this person bringing into my life what are you also going to contribute into the person coming into your life like what are you going to contribute into their life when they date you so it's a time to build yourself as a person yeah it's even the time to also build yourself spiritually during those times you do not have anybody to call you 24 7. it's the time for you to be in that secret place and pray to god for the next person that is coming into your life do you agree with me yeah because if you don't prepare yourself if you don't set or build a foundation for yourself and then like you accept anything that is going to come then I don't see the essence of of the weight because if let's say you are there you're not dating you're not praying into your relationship or into the person that will come into your life in the next whatever time that will come you are just there like no you're not even building yourself as a person you're not building any foundation for yourself as a person how sure are you that a person coming into your life you're going to be able to help them you're going to be able to help them in so many ways in talk of financially mentally emotionally you first of all have to build yourself spiritually that is very very important if it's financially you have to also build yourself so that you can also support the other person that is coming like any way possible that you can you have to build yourself you have to set a foundation build a foundation where you stand on so that you wouldn't even be like a dependent on the person coming to date you do you understand where i'm coming from so in a single moment there are a whole lot of things that we can actually do but people choose to stay in should i say abusive relationship all in the name of you and get anybody to date you or all in the name of like you've dated this person for this longer years for this longer month and you're not willing to let them go back no i feel it's actually a blessing it's actually very important that in your single stage like you build a connection you build a foundation even not for the person coming in your way for yourself as as a person you build something for yourself as an individual even if not for the person coming or let's say even if it's a friendship and you think oh right now a friend has betrayed you and so you're not going to be in any friendship any like committed friendship right now i feel like still you should build like a foundation for yourself set your boundaries put things in place so that the next person coming you will know what to like expect from those people or like you would you would know what you can receive or what you can contain from those people that are also coming into your life do you get it so sometimes it's not only about those that are coming it's about yourself too you should even think more of the people coming into your life but like personally 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 it's a blessing in disguise being single it's a blessing in disguise but sometimes we don't know we don't know we we think we have to always be in a relationship to to do certain things like to feel i understand the fact that like we sometimes need people to talk to yeah like emotionally like we need people to talk to we need people to pamper us like we are also jiggers but when these people come and they are giving you all those pampering that you need 
what is there for them to also gain? What have you put in place for those people to also gain from you? Do you understand? The makeup is coming together nicely, but <laughs> I don't know what to do next. I don't I don't actually have all the things for the makeup like all the product that I need. I don't have everything but I feel this is okay. So yeah, that's the second point. The next point that we will talk about is the fact that the second point is leading to this very next point. I think that's the third point that work on you becoming the right one for you work on you becoming the right one for you i think i even touched on that in the second um point that i said it's not always about the friendship it's not always about the relationship work on you you are you've broken up let's say you are single yes that means you don't have you've not dated or you've broken up from your relationship how are you working on yourself to to attract the positive people in your life do you understand work on you becoming the right person for you let's put the partners aside let's put the friendship aside work on you work on your character work on your behavior work on your personality work on the way you dress the way you speak work on you as a lady like Put all those things aside. Put all those relationships aside. Now you are single. During those period, what will you do? Think about yourself. What do I need to change in my life? Like, what are certain things that I have to put in place? Like, do I dress well enough? Do I need to change my closet to look a certain way? I think it's those times where you tend to figure out like okay let me do this if this will work sometimes you see when you're in a relationship eh, probably you like wearing jeans and then you wear jeans and your boyfriend's like mm, when you wear jeans it doesn't fit you or when you wear straight dress it doesn't fit you i want you to be wearing skirts i want you to be wearing this and this and this but this time around nobody is there to control your 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 decisions yeah so during those moments it's when you work on yourself to gain to gain that power over yourself so the next person coming cannot come and dictate for you that hey do this do that do that before they come you've you've established yourself you've what's the word you've the word is not coming before they come like you've built yourself yes as a woman you have built yourself in all those aspects that you need like how to speak how to dress how to even organize your space do you understand yeah you get the time to do all these things for you and not for the people in your life you get to do them for you for yourself and i think it's one thing that you can actually like benefit from from being single not i'm not i'm not saying like if you are dating you can't do these things but in that moment where there is nobody in your life i think it's also a time for you to sit yourself down think through things how can i do this to make this big how can i change this to make this big that is the time you change you for you and not somebody dictating for you or somebody telling you that you should do this or you should do that she gets it yeah let's do it is this thing coming out nice what is next i'm going in with a powder I see them put it here but i don't know what it does oh so let me also try some <laughs> yeah let me also try some here too mm. 
and sometimes they'll tell them to smile. <laughs> they'll tell them to smile. Hope I'm doing this thing right too because I can't come and fail here. And guys, I think we'll move on to our next point. So, the next thing to also talk about is the fact that it minimizes damage. Being single minimizes damage. Why am I saying that? You see, when you're in a relationship, eh? You feel you're the only one in a relationship, but no. Especially in those relationships where family members are aware that you guys are dating. Friends are aware that you guys are dating. When there's a breakup, it doesn't only affect you, but it affects the family. It affects the friends. Do you understand? It doesn't also it doesn't only really affect you the individual that you're breaking up with your boyfriend or your girlfriend but it also affects the family as a whole like let me take it this way i have let's say i'm dating this particular guy all my friends are aware that i'm dating this particular guy my parents are aware that um, i'm dating this particular guy and right now there's a breakup people's emotions people's people's like emotions are being played with because all those people were probably happy for me for being in that relationship and right now the relationship is no more they will end up consoling with me they'll end up consoling me that is their emotions like they're also being affected in a way i don't know if you guys Get what i'm trying to see these people are also affected in a way because probably they really loved me so much to be in this relationship or they also invested their time probably in a way they invested their time they invested their energy in this same relationship and now the relationship is no more i kind of feel it's a damage to them as well not just we both that we've decided not to be in a relationship again but then our families and friends are also affected in a way and so to 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 cut everything short i feel it's actually very important that when you stay single you're not going to hurt anybody's feelings you're not going to hurt anybody's anybody's emotions or anything because like Two people deciding to come together to love is actually a big thing for me if you ask me that's what i'll say it's actually a big thing like investing emotions investing time investing physical physical like your whole being do you understand investing money sometimes investing like a whole lot goes into this relationship thing that we see a whole lot goes into it so if yeah yeah with me and one way or the other like things are not going to work out well i feel those people also need explanations these people need explanation like the families and friends in our lives like they also need an explanation because they were there and you personally the damage will be less for you because imagine going through a heartbreak the the stress the sleepless nights not eating for days <laughs> the, fa <laughs> the fasting and prayers you do for the person to change his or her mind but still to no avail i feel that is much damage that you can cause so it's actually it saves people like those damages emotions and people i have a friend i have a friend that after the breakup with like her boyfriend she's like her self-esteem is low she has a lot of insecurities she has a lot of like damage within her she doesn't even feel like dating anymore like 
all these things are things that happen to people that just because of dating and so i feel if you are single you save yourself the stress from all these damages and then you pray to god for the right person and when those right people come girl <laughs> you won't even like you won't even say it and it's there you won't even stress it and everything is falling in place do you understand what i'm trying to say so yeah it saves us a lot it saves us a lot that's i think the fourth point to talk about then we talk about the last but not the least fifth point and that is what god gets for you is better so you think you are single and then nobody is coming or you think you are single and that is that but no i feel in those moments you pray to god that you want a better man and the men also pray to god that they want a better girlfriend a better woman and so that time is where god is also preparing somebody for you do you understand and god got you like anytime every time he got us like he's always there for us do you understand <laughs> i'm laughing about this thing but it's very serious 24 7 he's there for us god is also in his own way preparing somebody for us preparing somebody special for us somebody who wouldn't come in to hurt us who wouldn't come in to hurt our emotions who wouldn't come in to cause all these damages for us but a proper somebody <laughs> so yeah that is that that is the fifth like the five point i've spoken about about the importance of being single let me chip in this i feel it is also time that is also i feel that is also the time to clean up yeah it's the time to clean up during those moments where um, um i'm coming where is this thing mm -hmm. during those moments where like yeah as i said it's a time to clean up it's a time to get away with all those unnecessary um characters get away with all those like things we need to get overall like those times where we need to clean our cardboards and pick up everything that is not needed Is the time where we need to check our character and clean up from the bad things or the things that we think we did what am i doing the things we did for our first relationship that it didn't work the time that we have to sit down and check those ones too and see how best we can sort them out and how best they're going to help our relationship do you understand probably you were doing something that's why the first relationship was not breaking up that's the time for you to clean up clean up girl clean up in your heart clean up all those things like all those heads clean up all those hatred clean up all those hate you had in you because of a breakup that you had is the time for you to like be fresh again like have a clean heart to receive whoever that is coming in again it's a time for you to clean up all those things that are in you that are bottling up in you probably your previous relationship was not working you were being more treated and all of that all those hurts all those pain in you is the time for you to clean up yes it's the time for you to clean up and i bet you and you do all of these things that i've talked about you'll be ready for the next person that is going to come 
you'll be ever ready for those like the next person that is going to come in your life so i feel these are some important things that or well, let me say important of being single yeah i feel that's how the title is going to be the importance of being single you tend to prevent all of these things and then just be yourself and know what is best for you so this will bring us to the end of five important things or five important reasons why you should be single and that it is very very okay for you to be single let me show you guys my makeup well so this was it this was the end result let me bring it closer look the brows i don't know what's going on there but i feel it's okay right this is what we were able to come up with i hope it was nice i hope it's nice i hope it's it's actually nice <laughs> let me pause for you to take a picture like Isn't it not cute? <laughs> okay, guys. So this will bring us to the end of today's video. I hope it was very insightful. I hope it was very educative and you picked something up there. Please, if you think you have any other suggestions, any other contributions, do well to put it down in the comment section. Let's get interrupted down in the comment section. And until I see you guys in my next video, bye!